Hi, welcome. I'm Adam Smith with Extalysis, and we're going to talk about today uh, Shortel's architecture. Shortel's architecture is uh, kind of the magic behind why Shortel is so successful as a company. Uh, they've done something that no other company has been able to do with the design of their phone system, primarily because when they were founded back in 1996, they were founded on a clean sheet of paper. And so what that allowed them to do is start fresh. Think about all the good things that were in uh, a traditional telephone system, take advantage of things like IP-based technologies that were getting popular uh, at the time and are now the mainstream of voice over IP and voice systems. Um, and they were able to be innovative in that way. And so what they started with was the Shore Gear Voice Appliance. Um, it started shipping in 1998, and it's the fundamental building block of the solution. Uh, it's a Lego-like architecture. We'll talk about how that looks on the whiteboard in just a moment. Um, but the short tail uh, Shore Gear Voice Appliance. It's a unique device. It's got no moving parts except for the fan. It has dual connections to your Ethernet network so that you can have uh, patch updates go out to one set of switches. Second set of switches can be updated the next day without bringing off your phone, your phone system offline. It runs an operating system called VX Works uh, or Linux, similar to um, anti-lock brakes, pacemakers, whatnot, things that are embedded and have a need to do uh, one function or a few functions very, very well. Point of the, of the matter there is you, you don't get that Windows blue screen of death, um, which you do uh, run the risk of if you're using a server-based environment. Um, the other thing that's unique about the Shore Gear Voice Appliance is that because of the way it's architected with no moving parts except the fan, your MTBF, your mean time before failure, is going to be much longer than in a server-based environment. Um, Shortel publishes 11 to 15 years uh, MTBF. Um, if you go to any uh, hardware manufacturer for servers or um, spinning media, you're probably going to get a mean time before failure of about three to five years. So we're talking about a dramatically longer lifespan, and that's all part of why Shortel delivers the lowest total cost of ownership, um, which there is a total cost of ownership tool that we'd be happy to walk through with you to compare a variety of different vendors uh, while you're doing your selection. So let's take a look at how this system looks uh, when it's drawn out on your network. We'll start with your local area network. This is, let's call it headquarters. This is your local area network. We want to set up QoS, um, possibly separate VLANs for voice to prioritize the traffic and make sure that it's not um, getting congested with other traffic that might be on your network. Now, what I mentioned before was the Shoregear voice appliance. I'll draw one switch. This is the Lego-like building block of the Shortel uh, solution. It comes in a variety of flavors. There's a 30, a 50, a 90, 120, 220, a couple others for international and T1 trunking as well. Um, but fundamentally, this is the building block of the solution. So one U appliance, most of them are half width at this point. Uh, so we're talking about tremendous savings in your wiring cabinet as opposed to a server-based architecture or compared to your TDM system. I know some of the older solutions out there are, you know, the size of a, a small refrigerator or even a large refrigerator, depending on the organization. So we're trunking um, your telco and we're providing service to your IP phones uh, with a dramatically smaller footprint. There's a cost savings there in electricity as well. So we have some number of these Shore Gear voice appliances connected to the network. Just write SG on there for convenience. And they are going to have dual connect connections into the network. Let's say it takes three appliances um, to cover your, your headquarters location. Say you have uh, maybe 300 IP phones there at that location. You might have more, you might have less. Let's just use that number for instance. Draw a little phone on here on the network. This will be extension 1000. You can have three digit, four digit, five digit extensions. Easy, easy enough. Um, now that we have the short gear voice appliances on the network, if you're one site, we're going to add one more piece. Um, we'll call this the application server. And with the application server, what this is doing is voicemail, auto attendant, work groups, which is what Shortel calls their ACD functionality, which, by the way, you get out of the box. 
So with Shortel, you're not paying extra for ACD functionality. There is a premium version called Enterprise Contact Center, or you can use a product with Cinelect, uh, if you are in the higher end um, contact centers. But you get work groups right out of the box. It's doing computer telephony integration. This is what people talk about with their uh, computer tied into their phone system, with desktop applications that are being served from there. And it's doing the admin uh, functionality. Shortel calls that shoreware director. So you might hear these terms in future videos as well. Um, so with that server, what you'll notice is it's not doing call processing. All of the call processing is on this embedded flash memory on the Shore Gear voice appliance. So, because we mentioned, as I mentioned earlier, the server tends to be a weak spot of the equation. We're moving away from the server. We moved completely away from the server for the call processing. Um, <clears throat> there's a backup way of uh, distributing voicemail on the switch level. There's a way. There's a, a backup auto attendant on the switch level. Um, there's hunt groups on the switch level. So what, what I'm mentioning right here is even without this server, you get the core functionality of your phone system.